Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of simplifying expressions and order of operations. This is standard 5.4F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this expression, kind of complicated. We've got some brackets, we've got some parentheses. We need to simplify it. So first, let's start with our PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What that is going to do, that's going to tell us which order that we are going to take care of these. So we always take care of the parentheses first. We don't really have any exponents to worry about in fifth grade. That happens in sixth grade and above. After we take care of our parentheses, we take care of any multiplication and division. I'm going to draw some lines right here, simply because I want you to notice that even though multiplication comes before division in our little saying here, they are inverse operations. They are on the same level, which means either one of those can come first. If we divide a before multiplication, that's perfectly fine because they're equal. That final level is going to be our add and subtract. And those are also inverse operations. So like multiplication and division, you can take care of subtraction first if you're moving from left to right before addition, if it comes first naturally. So let's start with our expression. And I'm going to rewrite it because I want to make it a little bit bigger here. And you see this bracket right here? This is also a parenthesis, but it is an outside parenthesis. So it's a parenthesis outside of a parenthesis. And in order to distinguish them, what they do is they just make it a slightly different shape. But think of it as a parenthesis, because you see how we've got our parentheses right here around the 1.2. And then we have a little bracket, which is like an outside parenthesis. So we're always going to take care of our parentheses first. And this parentheses right here, you see this right here? This is simply uh, holding that 1.2, so there's no operation within there. What this means right here is this means multiply. Starting in the fifth grade and continuing for the rest of your educational career, we will, for the most part, not show the multiplication symbol. We're not really going to show an x. We're not really going to show a little dot. Not as much as we would just putting a number next to a letter or a number next to a parentheses. Just because it gets a little bit confusing, it can look like a variable, it can look like a decimal. So this is really 2 times 1.2. So this parentheses is simply holding that 1.2 and making it a multiplication. So really, if I wanted to rewrite it like this, I could do like this, 4.5 minus 2 and I'll just do times, but I'll do that x so you can see what it is, 1.2. That's really what that's doing right there. So inside this parentheses, which is this bracket, we've got a subtraction, we've got a multiplication. You see our multiplication comes first, so let's take care of our multiplication. So we need 2 times 1.2, so we're going to simplify that. We're going to rewrite everything else, we're just going to keep bringing it down, 4.5 minus... 2 times 1.2, let's just take 1.2 and double it, and that is going to be 2.4. Now, all we have left inside of our bracket, which is just like a parenthesis, is a subtraction. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this 4.5 minus 2.4, and that is going to be 2.1. So we're going to simplify this right here. We're going to say 4 bracket 2.1. Now, just like this right up here, signified multiplication, that's what this is signifying right here. We've got to multiply right here. So really, this is simply 4, and I'll do a little x so you can see it, times 2.1. So let's see, 2.1 times 4. That's going to be 4, 8. I've got one digit behind the decimal in my factor. One digit behind the decimal in my product, 8.4 or 8 and 4 tenths. So you see our answer here is F. 